Hello everyone and welcome back to JB's Total Gaming where today we'll be talking about three reasons to either play or not play Warframe depending on your perspective and the things you enjoy in gaming. One thing I really try to do on this channel is talk about not just why I think a game is good or bad but who would be interested in the game whether I'm talking about video gaming or board gaming. So that's what we're going to try to talk about here. We're going to try to talk about three things specifically in Warframe that are either going to attract you to the game or keep you away from it. Now I want to point out if you end up interested in Warframe there will be a link in the description if you end up signing up to warframe uh through this link you will get a bonus for doing so you will get a booster i believe to your credits and affinity for seven days um what's affinity and all that stuff mean well we'll talk about that in a later video where i actually go over some of the basics of warframe and how to play it we will do that in the future but if this video does interest you then please go ahead and check it out through the link in the description i will also get a bonus as well if you play the game for a certain amount of time basically so it'll help us both out as we play the game so warframe is a free-to-play space ninja third person shooter game with kind of endless grinding potentially if you want that i don't know it's kind of difficult to describe but let's talk about what this game has that may or may not interest you first of all i want to point out getting into this game can be pretty difficult i actually tried playing this game twice before i eventually started getting really into this game and one of the things that the game does much better than it used to but debatably still not that well for new players is the introduction this can be difficult both in the story of which there doesn't seem to be much a story in the game although you will get there trust me uh, but also to the mechanisms of the game it can be a little bit confusing how to play this game again we'll talk about this more in our uh, videos on kind of learning the game but this is a high action third person shooter with lots of cool abilities it may not seem like that way initially the movie movement system is pretty actually simple once you get used to it but they don't explain it well and all the amazing parkour and cool things you can do in the high frenetic action may not seem obvious at first but you will get there with some practice and some knowledge of what you're doing and also the story also gets there see this game launched with a pretty low budget and a small team but eventually story was put into the game more and more but you don't get to the main bulk of that story until after you've been playing for a while and you get through some other things it ends up being interesting and well done but it takes a while to get there so, don't be dissuaded by the intro to the game. Uh, you'll get there as far as the movement and the action is concerned, and believe me, the story gets there as well. However, if you're not prepared for kind of a slow initial start and potentially having to look some, some things up on the wiki or watch some videos, uh, you're forewarned. Next is the grind. Okay, so... This is a grindy game. Some people love that, some people hate that. In general, I do not enjoy grindy games. The longest I've played a grindy game was the uh, Star Wars MMO, The Old Republic, and that's only because I ended up in a guild of people I really enjoyed their company, and it was about playing with the guild why I stayed in that game for a little while, not because I enjoyed the game. And yet, this game is a grindy game that I have found myself enjoying. Overall, I think the free-to-play model in Warframe is maybe the best, if not at least on par with Path, Path of Exile, a game I previously called the best free play game ever and this game has in my opinion surpassed that there are definitely some grinding issues in the game especially later in the game i'm running into some issues where like there's an event mission that came up and you do it a certain number of times to get a reward but in order to get the blueprints for a thing you may have to run it more than the three times it suggests but then it costs items in order to get keys to run it and i have to do missions that I don't necessarily enjoy. Here's the deal. You can get stuck doing mission types you don't enjoy. You can get stuck doing stuff over and over again because there are items you want to get that you may not find early on. However, well, I find the gameplay loop enjoyable enough that I do want to get there, and there is a great community around this game. I Because I find the gameplay loop satisfying, and because um, there's a lot of great information and videos in the wiki, and I do want to point out, this game actually drops, or excuse me, they publish their loot table drops. That's right, they give you exact information on where to get things, and what percentage there is for drops, and while it's... A, kind of difficult to navigate because there's just so inf much information out there. If you want the information, if you want to spend the time on the wikis or the videos and, f and uh, finding out exactly how to get things, you can definitely do that. And there is a 
honestly the best online community I've ever come across in my opinion in this game they're very helpful there are people willing to trade for things um, it, now you may want to get in-game platinum there are ways to get in-game platinum without money in order to do that by farming for certain things uh, but that's all stuff we'll talk about more in the how to play videos that we're going to do a whole series of but overall yes bear in mind there is going to be grind in this game however because of the good community and the satisfying gameplay loop uh you may be surprised like me that you end up enjoying this game even if you're not traditionally somebody who enjoys games that involve a lot of grinding now last but not least let's talk about the gameplay when you initially play this game you uh may feel like i did and like my son did initially playing it thinking it's not that interesting of a game that it's kind of a corridor shooter that there's not a lot going on and you may play the game like a traditional kind of shooter well that's not how this game is designed to be played this is a fast-paced frenetic game and while it may feel like your abilities that your warframe has and basically you've seen footage of several different warframes in the game so far that I've shown clips of, I'm showing a little bit of an extended clip here. Basically, you may feel like you don't really get to do that much. Trust me, you will. We'll also talk about in my how to play videos mods and building up things and making things more powerful. So initially, it may feel like this game doesn't make a lot of sense, but once you get used to the amazing movement system and then your warframes and your weapons get more and more powerful through mods, because that's really what makes things powerful in this game is the mods, and there's a massive modding system in the game where you can do different and diverse builds for both your weapons and your warframes well there's a lot of cool stuff going on i believe it takes me quite a while to get into this here and i left it in the game still getting used to the movement system myself but uh again once you kind of get used to these things you'll be surprised at how frenetic frantic the gameplay really is how powerful your abilities can feel once they're modded up and it will take a while to get there but once you get there you'll realize that you really are a space ninja and the combat loop and the grind really is something that I have eventually found a very satisfying experience. So to recap, Warframe is a game that may be difficult for you to get into initially. The story may not make a lot of sense. You'll get there and even after playing some of the story missions you may be a little bit confused and there are some great videos out there that kind of explain some things that you may have missed. Uh, there are definitely descriptive things in the game, a codex and things like that you can look at, but overall I have found this story very enjoyable once you really started getting into it. You may find it grindy. However, because of the great community to help you out, all the great information to help you out, if you end up enjoying the gameplay loop, I think this is an exceedingly fair free-to-play game. And overall, the gameplay may feel even a little bit clunky at first until you get used to how you move around and how you play the game. Like I said, I will be putting videos up on... My initial video will be on the movement system on the mods in the game, the basics of that, and mastery rank, which is one of the things you want to improve to get more stuff. And you will find that, at least in my opinion, the variety in the game is astonishing. I've shown off a few of the Warframes. I haven't really shown off much of their abilities yet, but let's say there are somewhere between 30 and 40. I don't remember the exact number. They are incredibly diverse in their abilities. They each have four abilities, and while there is some crossover between the Warframes, the one I'm playing right now is kind of a bard frame that can buff your allies. Now, I'm playing solo right now because I'm spending time looking around for secret compartments and things like that, so I haven't really shown off the abilities, but there are ones that are great on defense. There are great damage dealers, but also just unique and cool abilities and synergies in between, and then all kinds of ways that you can mod, and even the weapons are unique. There are weapons that definitely play uniquely, not just traditional, you know, shock guns and assault rifles while those are there there's also bows there's also bows that shoot exploding things and grenade launchers and weapons that have unique abilities and passives like for example headshots making them more powerful for a period of time things like that there is an amazing amount of variety in this game if you're willing to stick with it and kind of figure out what's going on so like i said if that interests you please check out the link in the description um that'll link to my account we'll both get a bonus if you do that as opposed to you just going and downloading it yourself and also uh like i said check out later on down the road while i do some videos kind of explaining and helping you guys out with the movement system with the mods and mastery rank will be the first video and then there'll be more videos to come to help you understand the basic of how to play the game and then eventually some more complex stuff as we go because i'm planning on doing a pretty lengthy series so thanks a lot for watching everybody like i said give it i'd suggest giving it a try even if you're not traditionally into grindy games because i traditionally was not but i have really enjoyed this game and both me and my son after we played a little bit of time put a little time into this game realize what this game really had to offer and how it can be played in the diversity of ways it can be played i'll just say i thought about doing a comparison video to destiny 
uh, and Destiny 2, but honestly, I don't really think there's much of a comparison. The amount of variety in the, the frames or the classes, if you will, in the mods, all of that, the amount of content here, I actually don't think there's really a comparison. I have just quit playing Destiny 2 that I got really cheaply um, on a special deal after I started getting into this game for real. But it will take some time and effort to really get a feel of things. But once you do, I really think a lot of you are going to enjoy it. Like I said, if you are totally not interested in grind, if you're not interested in kind of a, a fast-paced uh, third-person shooter, uh, you may want to bear that in mind. And I do want to point out, too, while this is a corridor shooter, there is a open-world section in the game that I haven't really shown off in this video that you will have access to they're currently building a second one that i'm not sure when exactly it'll be out but it will be out that'll have some more open areas and there are some more open maps than the things you are seeing here too so if you spend a little time i really think you enjoy this game check out the link in the description thanks a lot for watching everybody and check out later as we start getting into some details about how to play this game and hopefully to help you get a better utter better understanding of how to get into the game and how the basics work because honestly they're not described that well at the beginning as i've pointed out but thanks a lot for watching everyone and we'll talk to you again soon